You keep telling me this? Telling me that? <laughs> Man, listen up, y'all. Now, I, I'm, let me let me get on a serious note, y'all. I'm just feeling good today, y'all, because we did make a power move in the DTFA, y'all. And I'm excited, man. I, I've been holding this, y'all, for a long time. Actually, over a year, I've been holding the decision to actually go to the next level because so many people ask me, CB, are you ever going to go outside of Houston? I said, you know, first I wanted Houston to get you know, get get ourselves together, y'all, because we're, we're dismantled, man. I, I love this game of football, y'all, and I know all y'all do, because if y'all didn't, y'all wouldn't be participating in it, and y'all wouldn't even go out your way and dedicate, you know, what you do uh, in this game. And I'm just talking to the Houston area, y'all. I'm not talking to nobody else. I'm talking to Houston, but this might be for somebody else, too, man. I got total respect for anybody that plays the game, y'all. The game has changed my life personally. The game has made me a better person it made me more dedicated it made me more real uh you know to have to meet somebody when you play on a football team or you you when you first started playing little league you had to meet these guys and these guys became your friends you trusted them man you trusted that you trusted the coach you trusted that the coach was going to put everybody in the right position and those are the things that we learn man we learned dedication we learned hard work we learned that we had to run and we had to work harder than the next team in order to win, man. So football has taught not only me a lot, but it's taught all of y'all a lot, man. And and, and I, I have much respect. But I do want to step on some toes real quick, y'all. Cause because people have talked down on, on the DTFA. You can talk down on me all you can all you can, y'all. That don't change nothing. That don't change my bank account. That don't change my pocket. That don't change what I got going on. That ain't that don't change what plans that I have. You know, I do listen to God, man. God tells me to do things, man. And I listen to him. When the devil tells me to do something, I know it's the stupidest thing. So I don't even listen to it. But sometimes, you know, you gotta, you gotta be smart about what you do, y'all. So I took my time on this one right here because I could have went after Dallas. I could have went after San Antonio, Austin or, or whatever, but you know, I love my city, man. And no disrespect to none of those other cities, but I'm going to rep my city first. And, and the best thing for my city, the reason why, one of the reasons why we made an alliance to Louisiana, because I enjoy going down there, y'all. I like to go to the boat and, and, and to these casinos down there and have fun every blue moon. I don't do it all the time, y'all. But I love doing it. But then I realized that every single team in Houston has somebody either from Louisiana uh, playing on their team or somewhere down I-10. So that was part of the reason why I made the decision, man, because the Long Stars even have people from Louisiana. The Colts have people from Louisiana. The Spartans have people from Louisiana. And I can go on and on. The Monarchs have people from Louisiana. Somebody on your team is from Louisiana. So why not link up? And let these boys have an opportunity to go to their city to show what they doing down here in our city, y'all. So Louisiana, salute, baby. Mississippi, salute, baby. Alabama, salute, baby. Much love, man. Much love. Hey, we all playing the same game, so much love to you, y'all. Y'all keep doing your thing out there. We can't wait to come to your city and show you what we doing in our city, H-Town, baby. We can't wait to come to your state and show up or pull up, baby, because we coming. H-Town is coming, baby, and we bringing the best. But now it puts me in a situation. We already have some great teams in the league, but now I'm looking for the best teams to come in this league. Everybody ain't gonna make it, y'all. Because remember what you were saying about the DTFA? We don't have any competition. We not this. We not that. That let me know y'all don't know me. Here peace fall or not. Y'all don't know me, man. I don't sleep like I told you. I'm always one step ahead of everything that I got going on in my own personal life. So therefore, let me let me make some statements, y'all. Because somebody made a statement to me this week that really, 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 really bothered my intestines. 
somebody said that the DTFA don't have real teams. Well, hell, none of these leagues have real teams because they're all put together teams. A real team is when you can, you got real coaches instead of people that just say, hey, I want to coach. Real ballers that have played on the collegiate level, not one or two or three or four ballers that played on the collegiate level and everybody else played on a little league, high school level. But I don't really have to go there. The, the objective of this whole thing is that the DTFA is a place where you can actually let your guards down and play football and not have to put yourself in a position to where you're worried about is the commissioner going to change the rules? Is this team going to cheat? Is that team going to cheat? Listen up, y'all. We're not playing no damn little league football over here. So if that's what you think, then you need to go to another league. Matter of fact, don't even consider being in this league. Matter of fact, don't call my phone. Go somewhere else, y'all. This, this league is not for everybody. It's for the ones that are wanting to see the vision and follow the vision and take your organization to the next level and stop playing this ghetto adult little league football that we've been playing in the Houston area. It's time to change the game. You say you want to travel. You say you want to do this. You say you want to do that. Guess what? It's going down in the DTFA like I told you. We're not playing no games, y'all. So, no, I don't want to go to Dallas. No, I don't want to go to San Antonio. No, I don't want to go to Austin. Yes, I want to go to Louisiana. Yes, I don't mind going to Mississippi. I had a good time in Biloxi when we went down there. in Alabama, y'all showed us some love when we came down there, y'all. And y'all, hey, that was a football game. And I enjoyed it all, y'all. So it's back. We back at that position. But let, let me explain one thing before I get off here, y'all, because I got to go get my hair cut. My barber just showed up. Pretty Ricky right there. When you talk down on the DTFA, man, go look in the mirror when you talking, fool. Because, number one, the DTFA, let me tell you how, to, how powerful the DTFA is. And I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you the truth. Year one, the Colts won the DTFA championship. Yes, the Texas Colts, a phenomenal team. I love Frank and what they doing. Uh, Contrell and all them cats, man, they real competitive. Joe, them boys got some ballers over there, man. Um, and I love that organization, dog. I really got a lot of respect, um, you know, for Rondell and, and what they what they put together over the years. But I want to say something, though. One of the things that, that happened when they was in the DTFA, they won their first DTFA championship. Yeah, you heard me. The Colts. The Texas Colts won their first DTFA championship. And when they won that first DTFA championship, dog, that took their team to a whole nother level. Took the Colts to a whole nother level. And then they went to another league and won another championship. But remember, they won their first championship in the DTFA. Let's move on. The Monarchs came to the DTFA, went six and five. And guess what? They won their very first championship. Where? In the DTFA. And look at them now. They're a really good competitive organization. And they've taken it to another level. They actually left our league with a six and five record and a championship. And they went, I think, about 9-1 and one and won some M NPFL division, whatever. Congratulations, man. Standout organization. Keep doing your thing, TC. Love what you're doing over there, baby. It go down in the DTFA, though. <laughs> now let's talk about them Spartans, man. Them nasty Spartans came from out of nowhere, got upset. Knocked out of the playoffs. It really hurt their feelings, y'all. And then guess what? They came back stronger. People underestimated them. I, my hat's off to what Torres and Flash and, and them cats over there doing, man. The realest. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, them Spartans, 
are the team they mess with. But the Colts are too, and the Monarchs are too, and every team in Houston are too. I'm not gonna take my hat off to just a few teams. I'm taking off my hats off to, what does my hat say? Oh, Houston, H-Town, baby. I represent, I love my city. Every day I got on an H-Town hat, every day. I love my city, y'all. Corey, you're a great running back, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep toting that rock, man. Keep doing what you're doing over there with the Spartans, man. It's a lovely organization, y'all. But let me tell y'all something. The Spartans won a championship, and they're here to defend their championship, y'all. Listen, I got a meeting this Sunday at 7 o'clock. Don't come empty-handed. You bring your money if you want to get into the DTFA, or I'm gonna ask you to leave if you not if you don't put your money on the table when you walk in the door. But by the end of the meeting, I might give your ass your money back. Cause I might not even want you in the league. CBZ, baby. I'm out. No disrespect, but just much love. Hey, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Houston. Turn up, baby. Turn down for what, Texas? Much love. DTFA, y'all. It's going down over here.